Kewabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Dropcag exclusive Battle Tribes Ninjas. Now I am so stoked as always to get new Battle Tribes in my collection as they're some of my favorite toys, so let's check out these new awesome Glios figures. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at this newest Battle Tribes Ninja figure. Now this is the Dapper Dispatcher, which I think is a very cool looking figure. This is from my boy Ken. Uh, he is releasing this on his site, and I think this just came out so awesome, man. So first and foremost, uh, we do get a lot of cool things here. You got the standard ninja parts and a lot of awesome metallic colors, bronze, coppers, silvers, all that cool stuff just looking really, really awesome. Uh, but again, the colors just look really, really good here. Very shiny piece. I particularly love the uh, helmeted head that we get here i think that looks so awesome with that like pinkish color and the purple around the mouth and on the helmet uh, you got some really nice tampoing here on the chest pieces which looks really good so i love that a lot you got that heart and that gear like target logo but the silvers and all that look really nice uh the coppers again and the bronzes the purple accents uh really set this off to me i think this is really cool you got the swords on the back uh what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna take the swords off and I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, try and take this off right here, like so. Ah, a little tight right here. Her, ah, ah, there we go. So we can see on the back that we even have some tampoing uh, back here. So if we get it to see focus right there, you can see wind this way, which is pretty cool. It's supposed to be, again, this is a, a more of a steampunk type of ninja, almost like a robot. Uh, and this little, little part right here, ah, for the swords, if my big fat fingers can actually hold it, uh, this is gonna act like a key. You know, you, there was a lot of those old robotic toys used to have like wind up keys uh, that you would do that. So that's how you would do that, put that on there. And it'd be like a wind up thing for a you know old robotic toy type of thing. So I think that's actually really clever. Uh, so I think it's awesome to just wind that up. And it's, what's funny is that that's actually how uh, I put these things on because I know they could be a little tight sometimes so I actually push them and then turn them like this and wind them up like that. So then you line them up. So I think that's actually really cool. And then go ahead and put the swords in there uh, like that. Again, I love the purple handles on those. I think those look really cool. So I'm gonna put on that one right there. That looks awesome, man. So very, very cool. I do love the other pieces that we get as well. Uh, the other head sculpt looks awesome. The standard ninja mask looks really cool. The silver underneath that tablet on the face mask itself with the pink eyes, I just think it looks so killer. Uh, then we also do get a different uh, torso piece. Again, with the uh, chest pieces with the gears on there, things like that, and the little panel on there looks really good. But I love the unmasked head right here with that like bright copper hair, the pink eyes, the copper mustache, I think is awesome. So that that looks really cool. Even has a little, let's see if you can see it, the little, uh, little, little swirl at the end of the tips. I think it's really cool, man. So a very cool looking piece. And then you get the standard like Battle Tribe boots and done this like really nice bright silver. I thought really awesome. Same thing with the hands, the, the silver wraps around there just looks so good. So you can mix and match parts and do whatever you want. You even got the side here uh, with the purple like that looking really cool. So I just love the way this turned out, man. It just looks really, really nice. And I personally always love when we get a battle builder. So we have this one done in that all copper, which I think looks really cool. Or that bronze, I guess this is more bronze, right? It's bronze, copper, I, I can never tell the difference. I think this is bronze. Uh, but the swirling, like uh, that metallic plastic just looks so cool to me, I love that. And you can see all the different parts that he comes with as well. Again, all the same ninja parts, but all done in that solid like copper color. I think it looks really awesome. And again, I love the way this like, it, 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 and a lot of people don't like the swirling metallic plastic. I personally do. I think it gives it character and life, um, but I absolutely love the way that looks. I just think it looks so good, man. Yeah, I, I always love Battle Builders. I think this came out so nice. And just seeing him with the other, uh, the uh, Dapper Dispatcher like this, I think these are a really cool duo. I love the colors of both of these figures. I think they're so nice. All right, and another cool thing that we get from Ken here, uh, he's been doing a lot of really awesome 3D printing stuff, uh, and he's starting to do these awesome weapons racks, which I think are so cool. I love these. You know, they're in perfect scale 
with like your Battle Tribes figures. I just think they work so awesomely. Uh, I'm so happy I got a couple of these. They are so nicely done. And he has a bunch of different stuff. You know, he does like head packs that I've shown off before here on my channel uh, and other things. Uh, but now he's doing weapons racks, which I think is genius. I love these. And they're so well done. The quality is really, really nice. You can see how oh, there's the wood grain, all the different sections you can add stuff like that. So I think it's super cool. Uh, so really happy that I picked these up. And I'll show you how they work here. You know, you can get different weapons that you have here. So I'll just use like the ninja weapons that we get here. You can hang like the chucks right there if you want. Uh, there's a little section you can slide like swords through like that. Uh, take another one right here. I'm just gonna load it up as much as possible right here. Take another one right here like that. Put another one right there. So you could really, you know, pack them in here. Uh, go ahead and put the side like that. I'm gonna get a bow staff, put it in right there. And then same thing with another one right that. So boom, I mean, you could really, really load these things up, you know what I mean? And figure out different ways to fit all your different weapons. I think this is just so smart. I am so happy that he's doing these because I love, you know, adding extra accessories to the world of Battle Tribes and Glios and things like that. And I think these are really cool accessories, you know, to for display, for whatever you're doing, dios or whatever it may be. I think it's awesome. Uh, if you want to paint these up, you can totally do that. Uh, I'll probably add myself a black wash to this just to make it a little uh, darker and just make it a little more uh, lived in kind of thing and a little more worn. But I think it's so cool. He has done a great job with these. Again, awesome new figure awesome new weapons rack from Ken. So hit up his website. I'll leave a link in the bio. They're so awesome. I am so happy I picked these up and they are all definitely a must get. So there it is guys, my review of the Drop Keg exclusive Dapper Dispatcher. Now I think this is a really cool and unique concept for a Battle Tribes figure. Making him a steampunk ninja is pretty awesome and a lot of fun and I just really dig the way he turned out. The colors, again, are so unique, so vibrant with those metallics. I love all the different tampos that we get. They're so much fun. And hey, if you're lucky, you can even get a really cool battle builder, which I'm all about. And what's even better, now we're getting weapons racks. I think that's so awesome. I absolutely love that for my entire collection. I'm gonna need about 50 of them because they're just so well done. So if you can, go ahead and pick up both these awesome figures and some extras. I think they'll fit in great with all of your collections. Now I will leave a link in the bio to pick up these awesome figures plus so much other cool things that Ken makes. He just makes some quality quality product. So please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy my friends. Peace.